Good morning. I pray this finds you well today. And um, I just wanted to share a very brief thought that I had this morning as I was in prayer. Um, and it comes out of the book of Psalms. Um, and I call I called my thought this morning, early morning joy. Um, I challenged everybody last week, I believe it was on Thursday, um, to join me in prayer this week in uh, waking up early before the dawn and praying and just coming to God with your requests and with your worship and spending time with him. Um, and so I know several of you are taking that challenge and I pray that um, it was successful for you and that you found joy in it and that you found peace in it. Um, if you didn't have a chance to do it today, then I pray tomorrow you will challenge yourself to do so. Um, there's just something about waking up early, sacrificing that time to spend with the Lord, and it just sets your day right. Um, at least it does for myself. Um, so I want to read Psalm uh, 90 verse 12 and verse 14. Um, so 90.12 says, teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. And then verse 14 says, satisfy us each morning with your unfailing love so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. There's another translation of that scripture on 14 that says, satisfy us early in the morning with your mercy or unfailing love. Um, and I love that uh, when you look at the meaning of the word early there, it actually means steadily or promptly. Um, and so, so promptly in the morning. So what are we allowing to consume ourselves first thing in the morning, early in the morning, right when we wake up? Are we looking at our, our emails? Are we allowing you know our work life to be the first thing that inundates our mind and our hearts and our spirits? Are we allowing Facebook or Instagram or you know other social media outlets to be that first thing are we allowing our bank account um, to be that first thing you know maybe you log into that every morning um, I don't know what CNN Fox News I don't know you know all these different things that we allow to consume our thoughts and our time um, what if we allowed that to be God's time and um, you know maybe for some of you, you're like, I don't know, that's weird. I don't, you know, I'm not used to that. Give it a try. What do you have to lose? Um, you know, for me, I found that when I sacrifice that time, it it makes my day go so smoothly. Um, not saying that I don't have troubles or I don't have, uh, you know, things that come up, but I'm armed and equipped to be able to handle the things that come my way because I've spent time with the Lord. I've I've sharpened my spirit. I'm, you know, I'm ready to face the day. Um, and I feel that he gives me a word every single day when I spend time with him and when I pray. Um, and that almost always helps me get through my day um, with whatever the word was that he gave me. Um, and so I, I challenge you to try it as well. Uh, you know, what are your thoughts before you're consumed by your day? Um, and just, just test it, <laughs> just give it some time. Um, and I pray that if you're taking that challenge with me, that you will find peace in it. You'll find value in it. You'll find that, um, a renewing of your, your joy in your spirit. Um, you know, we rely so much on the fact that tomorrow will come. Um, and that's where I love that uh, verse 12 where it says, teach us to realize the brevity of life. Life is brief and, you know, not to get heavy on us, but I think we all can come to the realization that life is brief. And, um, you know, probably every one of my friends on here has lost somebody close to them. Um, maybe, you know, however we feel before, before their time. Um, and maybe you're, maybe you're a parent and you lost a child. I guarantee you probably understand the brevity of life. 
Um, maybe you lost a friend. Uh, maybe you lost a, maybe you're a teenager and you lost a friend at a young age. Maybe you lost a parent. Um, you know, I, I lost my dad when I was 25 and I understand the brevity of life. You know, at moments I get upset or angry that, you know, he's not here to know my children or, you know, he, he only got to meet one of my kids. Um, but I know that his spirit lives on um, and there's joy in that. And so I pray that you find peace and comfort in knowing that the Lord is fighting for you um, no matter what you're going through. Um, life is brief. And so pick and choose your battles, offer forgiveness, um, spend time with the Lord, allow him to speak to you in your situation and know that no matter what you're going through, he is going to work all things together for good. He'll give you the strength you need to make it through and he will bring you early morning joy as you sacrifice your time to spend with him. Um, so I pray that this blesses you. I pray that it challenges you. Uh, I think all of us need people in our lives that are challenging us at times, um, that will sharpen us, that will encourage us, that will pull us up and out. And I pray that this message does that. I pray that you'll read um, the book of Psalms in uh, chapter 90. Read the whole chapter today. It's it's wonderful. It's challenging. Um but there's also so many promises in there from the Lord that uh, we can hang on to that um, I pray encourage you and test it. Test me in it. Wake up early this week and find early morning joy with me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.